Hi there and welcome back. My name is Prakar and you are watching Tech Now. My earlier video was a part 1 where we learned how to build the hardware of frameless magic mirror. Watch it in the link above. Whereas in this video we are going to learn how to install magic mirror application and understanding the basics of module configuration. So if you are a newbie to magic mirror, this video is for you. Step 1 Prerequisites So my Pi has a fresh copy of Raspbian Buster installed on it with SSH and VNC enabled. If you are new to Raspberry Pi and do not know how to do this, watch the video on the link and learn how to set up Pi from scratch. I have also installed fan on Pi with automatic temperature control. I have a DIY tutorial in the link above if you are interested. Step 2. Install the magic mirror software. First of all log into your Pi using Putty. Click on the link given in the description box. So this guy has all the updated commands to install magic mirror on your device. Scroll down and copy the installation script and paste it in your terminal. You can also find the command in the description box below. This will install magic mirror application on your device. This would take roughly 20 to 25 minutes on Raspberry Pi 3. Press Y and enter to install PM2 and disabling the screensaver. Next, we need to run one more command to start magic mirror automatically on boot. Copy this command and execute it in your terminal. You will also find the link in the description box. Login to Pi using VNC. You will notice that magic mirror application has started. Here we would have our calendar, complements and the news feed modules. So with this our primary setup of magic mirror is complete. Now we need to configure our basic modules. But before that let us start with understanding the basics. So by default the magic mirror application is installed in your home, pi and magic mirror directory. Now go to the modules and default folder. Note that all the default modules such as alerts, calendar, clock, complements etc pre-installed with magic mirror are present here. Now if we open the complements module we will have a complement.js file. This file will have all the default complements. You can modify the contents of this module if required. For any changes refer the documentation of complement module. This will show all the parameters that can be altered in this module. Similarly, you will find configuration options for all the default modules here as well. While building your magic mirror, you may also need some other third party modules on mirror. Find the link below to access the list of third party modules available for the mirror. Now suppose we need to install remote control module. Open the module github page and scroll down. The module will have instructions for its installation. So log in using putty and follow the instructions to install the magic mirror remote control module. Now going back to the modules folder in VNC, note that the remote control module will be listed here. The module will have a folder name starting with MMM followed by remote control. Each module would have a module name .js file and an optional node helper file. Any other dependencies for the module would have been installed while using npm install just like before. So the module has been installed. However, Mirror has no idea about this module as we have not yet added it in the config.js file. This is the core file that will tell Magic Mirror what module should be loaded along with their configuration and parameters. For example, if the calendar module is commented from the config file, you will note that when Magic Mirror is started, the calendar module will not load.
press Ctrl plus Q to exit window and type PM to stop magic mirror to stop magic mirror application. Now we need to copy the configuration code for remote control module and paste it in the config.js file. You may alter the configuration if required. All the defined modules shall start and end with a curly braces along with a comma after each module. Now some additional configuration is also required for remote control. Open the configuration page and make the changes. Now start your magic mirror with pm2 start magic mirror command. So this module basically allows you to control your magic mirror with other devices such as computer or your mobile phone connected to the same network. Open your browser and go to the IP of your Pi followed by semicolon and the port number that is 8080. You will see that the module has been successfully installed. So guys this video will get you going and you will have a lot many things to experiment on. Do share your thoughts in the comment section below. In my next video we would be learning how to sync magic mirror with google and iCal calendar. We will also learn how to sync Amazon Alexa with Google Calendar so that you can add or remove events on Mirror simply by asking Alexa. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do subscribe and press the notification icon below.